welcome everybody to the very first episode of DIY Friday, the show in which we show you an awesome project for your weekend. Today we are going to be transforming this extremely unreliable knife into a fully custom, full tang survival knife. We picked up this knife for about $30 at Walmart, and after seeing several negative reviews about it on the internet, we decided to take matters into our own hands. To begin, we're going to start off with a large, flat work surface. We're going to need some 550 black paracord for the handle, and we decided to use some red and black 80 paracord for style. Of course, the star of today's show, the Camillus Carnivore, should be close by. Because of the poor quality of the two screws in the handle of the Carnivore, we're using a drill with the appropriate size bit for the screws. A right angle grinder will be needed to make our new handle, and a standard metal grind wheel is attached. For later on in the project, we will also be using this portable vise for added support of the blade. First off, we attach a bit that is just big enough to cut through one of the pins that hold the handle in place, and we begin to eat away at the pin because the metal is too soft for a standard screwdriver. After about halfway through, we flip to the other side of the handle and repeat the process for the upper pin. Once this is completed, you can toss these two metal pins into your spare parts box and save them for a future project. After using our drill and the aid of a small punch to remove the handle of the carnivore and putting the two pins in our spare parts box, we're going to plan out the next portion of the project, trimming off the current tang and getting ready to remove the serrated edge that's going to make up our new handle. Now we're going to start grinding off this portion of the handle just below this convenient hole that we will use for the paracord of the new handle. Do note that the rag is wet and we have an eye wash station nearby in the event of metal getting in our eyes. Jeremy, the cameraman, who is assisting Abdul with holding down the blade, is also wearing safety glasses. After we're done grinding, you should see something that looks a bit like this. As we begin to start cutting off the serrated portion of the blade that is going to be our new handle, we also notice that we need a new tripod. Taking care not to cut too far down in the blade itself, we stop after going through the serration. 